Hey, what's up, Facebook? Come on. Hallelujah. Come on in. I got interrupted. Uh, interrupted. I'm sorry. Earlier today. And, you know, I said I'm going to come back in as soon as I got home. Come on, people of God. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in you and through you on today. I don't know about you, but I'm believing God to come on to do something great in your life. So very quickly, people of God, I need you to begin to hit tag and share. Come on. I'm not here to play with the devil. It's been a minute since I've been on here, people of God. God has been moving mightily in me since Thursday. You got to be done attended my church to understand what I am talking about. So very quickly, I need you to tag seven. Tonight's number is seven because seven is the number of completion, baby. So I need you to tag seven people, seven people you love, seven people you care about, seven people that you want to motivate. Come on, very quickly. I need some people on here tonight that's ready to help me wake up heaven. Do you hear what I'm saying? I need some people on tonight that's ready for watch this to help me step on the devil's neck. So quickly, quickly, quickly. I need you to tag seven people. Come on, very quickly, very quickly. Hallelujah. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God is getting ready to do in the life of you. The one watching this video. Come on in, baby. Come on in. Let me tag in uh, a few people also. Come on in. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on in, come on. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Listen, people of God, I will be in New Orleans as of uh, 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 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. So yes, I listen, if you're in the New Orleans area, I do want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on in. Come on in, people of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on in. Let me pin the information to the bottom ways to give and ways to sow. Come on, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, people of God. Come on. Oh, I need some people of God on tonight. Hallelujah. That don't mind saying ain't nobody scared, but the devil that mind that don't mind saying I, I done been pushed in. I done been th put through too much hell and I done been tormented and tortured these last few days. I done been battling some things that I can't even open up my mouth to share with my close friends. I've been going through some things in the background that make me want to quit. I'm just talking to a few people on tonight who watched it. The devil, he thought come on somebody that he has been winning, but he had no idea that God was moving in the background. So come on very quickly. If y'all see me looking down, it's because I'm inviting a few people to this live right now. Hallelujah. Come on in people of God. Very quickly, very quickly. The number tonight is seven. I need you to tag seven people. Come on, come on, come on. What my help at on tonight? Do you know that your obedience, you better get what I'm saying to you, like tagging and sharing. Come on, that's better than a seed in the ground. You better get what I'm saying to you. Because watch this. Sometimes when you are going through the worst of the worst, come on somebody, you barely got this much energy to encourage yourself when you got to be there for everybody else. So tonight I'm calling out all the first responders, the people, watch this, the glue to the family. I'm calling not right now. Come on, somebody. That praying wife, that praying husband, that praying girlfriend, that praying boyfriend. Come on. I'm calling out. Watch this. Some people on tonight. Come on, somebody who you don't know how to you Watch this. You at the lowest point in your life to where all you got left right now is prayer because you've tried everything else and nothing else begin to work. If you are just now tuning in, people of God, tonight's message is the stronghold has been released. Come on. Let me see with my obedient that Trina Daniel. I thank you for tagging seven people. Come on. We're doing seven tonight because seven is the number of completion. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all know I can't get started until... I'm clear in my spirit. I'm on my way to take a flight. Do you get what I'm saying? But I got to release this word for somebody because I feel like there's somebody going through right now. I feel like there's somebody that needs to be reminded to keep holding on. I, I feel in my spirit. There's somebody, watch this tonight, that, come on, there was just a few seconds, watch this, from relapsing. There was just a few seconds from putting the bottle to their mouth. Come on, their own personal way of numbing up the pain. There was just a few seconds of 
eating another piece of cake, do you know that depression, watch this, will send you into overeating some people. Depression, come on somebody, it sends them to go shopping, whatever they needed to do to numb the pain. This message is for you. I decree and declare on tonight that the stronghold has been released. The thing, watch this, that you fear the most. The Bible says that we aren't to fear every anything, but could we talk about it a little bit? We all have a spirit of fear in us sometimes. Watch this, where we premeditate the worst. Have you ever been in that place where you say, I, I know he's going to cut up and do me wrong again. Or I, I, I know the children going to be going to back talk me and be disrespectful. Or I, I know that after I pay all my bills with my check, I just got them. I'm about to be broke. I'm talking to some people. Watch this. Who premeditate? Could I talk about it? They're downfall at times. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, watch this. Watch this, people of God, that the stronghold has been released very quickly. We're going to get started. Let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Shakira McFadden. Some call me Evangelist Shakira McFadden. Some just say Shakira. Whatever is fine with me, but baby, you are tuned in to a page where you're going to hear nothing but realness. You tuned in to a page, baby, where you're going to get transparency. You tuned in to a page, baby, come on, where you're going to hear about God, watch this, and you're going to hear about reality at the same time because sometimes we can get so spiritually caught up. Watch this, that we don't want to talk about what's really going on down here on earth. So watch this. You're going to get a little bit of both, baby. Sure is. Sure is. So if you are just now tuning in, tonight's message, people of God, is the stronghold have been released very quickly. I need you to comment below, released in capital letters. I'm not sitting where you are right now. But the Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. So the only way we can come on one accord, people of God, is when I move, you move just like that. If you like something I'm saying, you can get tagged. You can get shared. Come on, somebody. You can put some comments below. But we are going to let God have his way. It's so often people of God that we, we are going through things. We forget to bind and loose. We forget to bind up that stronghold. We begin. To, we, we, we forget to bind up that thing that's, come on, uh, 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 mentally breaking us. We forget to bind up the very thing. Come on, somebody, that almost cost us our soul. When I say cost us our soul, watch this. I don't know about you, but I don't been in predicaments. Come on, somebody, some Somebody for the for the sake of love, or I done been in some predicaments. Could I talk about it for the sake of my children? Or I done found my damn self doing some things and dabbing and dabbing in some things I thought I would never do. Watch this. Those things are strongholds. And God told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, your stronghold, come on, who am I speaking to? Is just, ooh, you better hear what I'm saying. Let me put that thing in the atmosphere for the people who got their, uh, their catcher's mid out, for the people who say, I ain't come on this live to play tonight. For the people who come on to say, I needed this. I dare you to comment below. Baby, I needed this. God said to come and tell you, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. The one that's watching this video, baby, that the stronghold is being released. Some of you watch this people of God. That situation has got you so gone. Come on. Watch this. You have completely given the enemy access to your mind. What are you talking about evangelist Shakira? Some of you, it's not you physically that the, the, uh, the enemy is after. Let me bless you baby. He wants your mindset because he know that when you put your mind to anything you can conquer that thing. He know that when you decide to say you know what? You going to think it to yourself like you know what? Shakira, you a bad mama jammer. He, you going to think it to yourself like you know what? Shakira, you got other ways to hustle and make money when, you're, when your paycheck running out. See, watch this. You got to get to a place in your life where you going to make people thank you crazy. Sometimes I'm riding in a car with my husband and I'm mumbling under my voice and he be like, what you said, baby, baby? I'm talking to myself. Right now, I don't want to get nothing because I'm talking to myself. Have you been in a place, people of God, where you stop encouraging your best friend?
praying. You stop encouraging mom and daddy. You stop encouraging your children. You stop encouraging the people in your church. You stop encouraging your family. And you said today is the day that I shall encourage myself. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. You got to talk to yourself. You got to look crazy to people sometimes. And you got to be okay with it. Somebody ought to come and say, oh, Jesus. You ought to comment below and say, yeah, I talk to myself. I'm, I'm saying that proudly. You can call me crazy. You can say I'm schizophrenic. You can say I'm out of my mind. But baby, sometimes I got to shut the world off and say to myself that everything going to be okay. God told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, that the stronghold is being released. It's, it's being released. And watch this. Not only is it being released from you, but it's being released from your whole household. Not only is it being released from you, but it's being released from your health. You better hear what I'm saying. Not only is it being released, but baby, it's being released from your mind. It's, it's being released off your children. It's being released, come on, from the job. Oh, all of us are fighting different things, whether we want to get it all together or, I mean we want to act like we got it all together or not but everybody has something they're battling God told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video that baby the stronghold it's being released God said because of your faithfulness because of your faithfulness on the battlefield because you didn't fold up when you got to the battlefield, have you ever been in a fight, people of God? And you know what I mean? You called your homegirls and your homeboys and you was like, okay, we finna go handle this thing. And they was like, I got your back. They boost you up to do it. Come on, somebody. And when you got in the fight, you look back and nobody was there. You better catch that in the spiritual realm. Have you ever went to war? And thought you had some soldiers connected to you. And when you looked around, nobody was, oh, I dare somebody to comment below. Nobody was there, baby. Nobody was there. Some of you watch this. You, you they, they might think you're not as successful. Come on, somebody. Because all of your accomplishments was little. But watch this, baby. It was a big thing to you. Why? Because ain't nobody gave you nothing. You went out and got it out the muscle on your own. Come on, somebody. Ain't nobody was there for you. Do you get what I'm saying? You got it out the mud on your own. Whether you got to flip burgers for it, baby, where you had to stand out there and prostitute, could I keep it real? Whether you laid on your back for pamper money, you ain't asked nobody for nothing. You better hear what I'm saying to you. You turned around and nobody was there. I'm talking to some people who've been out there homeless. And had family members with three, four empty bedrooms in their house and wouldn't even take you and your children in. Come on, somebody. When you turned around, nobody was there. God said that he's releasing the stronghold people of God that has been on you and your bloodline in this season. He's breaking the back of the enemy. Listen, you got to get to a place where you begin to pray differently. Some of you are fighting demonic forces for what? When God said vengeance is mine, you going back and forth on social media trying to explain yourself about something you didn't do. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? You got too much going for yourself to continue to run down every lie that's being told on you. You got too much going for yourself to continue to give the enemy that much attention. You got too much going on in your life and going for yourself. Come on, somebody, to keep readdressing doors that you've already closed. God said, watch this. People are behind you for a reason. You better hear what I'm saying. This is why people of God, come on, somebody, your rearview mirror is smaller than your front mirror. People are behind you. For a reason. Do you know that that strong code, hold, it can be a, a, a person, a place, or you better hear what a, a person, a place, or a thing. And God said, people of God, that we are in a season where he has to answer your prayers. You are in a season where you don't have no choice but to serve the devil a two-day notice. Somebody ought to say you are evicted. You are evicted. You ought to put evicted in capital letters. I walk around my house, devil, you evicted. I'm telling you, I get into it with my husband. I see a spirit in him I don't like. I said, that spirit is not allowed here. 
You got to get to a place where you call those things out for what they are. The devil, you are a liar. That you, you no longer welcome it. Ooh, let me, can I come in agreement with you? The one that's watching this video, I decree right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm in agreement with you, baby. Don't worry about the hearts of the life. It's just me and you right now. I decree and declare, devil, that you are evicted out of their mind, that you are evicted out of their heart, that you are evicted out of their homes, that you are evicted out of their finances, that you are evicted out of their health in the name of Jesus. Why? Because God said the strongholds, they're being released. The very thing that they were waiting for to break you, God said it's being released. It ain't no more holdups. Come on, who am I speaking to? Baby, it ain't no more holdups. You ought to come and blow. It ain't no more holdups. It ain't no, ain't no more holdups. Baby, ain't nothing holding me up anymore. Ain't nothing holding me up anymore. I'm going to say that a few times until you catch that in your spirit. Baby, ain't no more holdups. Some of you got money that's been held up. Baby, ain't no more holdups. God said the stronghold. It's being released in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, come on, people of God. You got jobs and positions and businesses and different things that has been on oh, hold up. God said that thing is being released. Some of you people of God, you've been praying and praying and praying for that man or that woman. You, 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 I'm talking to a few people where you love them so much you barely love yourself anymore. Can I, can I, can I get in some of y'all business for a moment? I'm talking to a few people, people are, oh, I've been there. You better get what I'm saying. Some people be like, a man ain't gonna never try me like that. He ain't gonna never try. Girl, stop. We don't all be in that can't eat, can't sleep stage. I'm talking to a few people where it seems like, God, when is it going to get better? The Holy Spirit told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, that the stronghold, it has been released. It's according to your faith. You better get what I'm saying to you. Where's your faith? Where's your faith? You don't even pray anymore. Where's your faith? You praying, but then you crying after. Where's your faith? Oh, you of little faith. Do you not know that he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever? That stronghold is being released. That stronghold, and watch this. Anytime, people of God, there's a releasement going on. You better hear what I'm saying. Not everybody going to clap when you win. Some of y'all need to shut the heck up. I almost said hell. I ain't going to lie to y'all. When I ain't on live, I, I say that around my house. Y'all know I'm a realist. Y'all know I'm a realist. Baby, some of y'all need to shut up. You opening your mouth and you're telling all your business what's going on with you, what's, what's, what's going on with your, with your next business idea, what's going on with you and your man, what's going on with this person and that person, what's, you talk too much. Shut up. We are in a season where it's time to just shut up and pray. I hope I hurt your feelings. Shut up and pray. The thing cannot manifest because the people you think are cheering for you are, you better, Jesus, let me hurt somebody feelings. The people you think rooting for you, cheering for you, happy for your relationship, happy because you got a raise, happy because you trying to purchase a home, happy because you, 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 you know, you want to open your business, happy because you writing a book. Do you really know him? Do you really know him? Do you, do you, do you wonder why it seems like they clapping when you give them the, the, the news, but the minute you leave them all hell breaking, you better, who? The minute they, 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 they get from around you, all hell begin to break loose in that area. You just got clarity from God in. God set the stronghold. It's being released, but you got to shut up and pray. You got to shut up and trust God. You got to shut up and believe. We talk too much sometimes. Yeah, we, we talk too much. We get excited when, 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 when something good happens and God ain't even through with the blueprint. He gave you a, a glimpse of what's about to come. 
Who God, I thank you. He gave you a glimpse of what's about to happen. He gave you a glimpse about of what he's about to do in your life. He done showed you a little bit and you done ran with the vision. How do you expect people to understand your vision when God only gave it to you? Not everybody's eyes can handle what God doing for you. Don't expect everybody to clap when you win. And when they clap, and you better ask God to give you spiritual ears to hear. Because watch this. You know what they can be clapping for? They can be clapping, hoping you fail. You on the left side praying, you make it out. Come on, who am I speaking to? And they clapping, hoping it fail. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. But you better catch that thing in the spiritual realm. God said that we are in a season, people of God, where you got to shut up and pray. God got so much more for you. There's, there's so much more bigger for you. And you ain't connected to the right people. There's so much more bigger for you. Come on, somebody. And you can, listen, I, I, I hate to, to call people, uh, 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 let me give you, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get a good word for this thing. So I don't hurt no, nobody feelings. Listen, kings and queens don't come down to address pigeons. You spending too much time. Trying to prove to everybody else that you got it. You spending too much time trying to prove to everybody else that your relationship is gold. You spending too much time trying to tell everybody else what your next move is. And God says, shut up and pray. This is why the same doors that you prayed open and God showed you they was open done slammed in your face. And you wonder why God, God, why? Why is this happening to me? Because you put your thought and your hopes and your feelings into wrong, the wrong people. Shut up and pray. He told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, that the stronghold is being released. That very thing that has been keeping you mentally bound. That very thing that has been keeping you physically bound. It is being released. Somebody ought to comment below. Release it now. Release it now. See, it's something about when the word now go in the atmosphere that things begin to shift and things begin to change. You better get what I'm saying. It's something. Of, oh God, I can scream right there. It's something about when the word now go forth. Hadabashiande. That demons begin to tremble. Come on, I want to see now all across my screen. Now, 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 now. I told you I can't be there to hold your hand in prayer. So the only way, sister, bro, we can come in agreement is watch this. When I move, you move just like that. If you're agreement, agreeing with, 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 with what I'm saying, come on, somebody. You can comment, you can like, you can tag, you can do whatever you want to do in this season. Except for get up, give up. Too many of y'all got to give up spirit on y'all. When the battle get tough, you ready to give up. When, when the enemy hits you left and right, you ready to give in. Come on, somebody. When, when, when things get a little hard for you, 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 you ready to tap out. Ain't no wimps out here. Ain't no wimps out here. When it's time to go confront that girl about that man, you ain't scared then. When it's time to pray or, or go up against the devil, why are you a wimp? Why are you a wimp? You're a warrior. And you are stronger than you think you are. You are in the season, people of God, when you got to prove them wrong. Baby, I, you better who? Oh, prove them wrong. I'm just talking to the underdogs. I'm talking to the people like me who's supposed to still be locked up doing 15 years. I'm talking to the people like me who... Oh, Who's supposed to still be out there stealing? I'm talking to the people like me. Who's supposed to still be out there turning the drugs to numb the pain? I'm talking to the people like me. Who's supposed to still be out there on the block? I'm talking to the people like me. Come on, somebody. Who's supposed to still be in the clubs looking for love? God says, shut up and pray. Shut up and pray. Stop telling people what you're praying about if they ain't got your back. Stop giving people access to your business. Come on, somebody. If they ain't, 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 ain't tapping into the heavens for you. I don't want no friends who just know how to roll weed and twerk a little bit. I need some friends who know how to war in the spiritual realm. I don't want a man who don't know how to pray. Too many of y'all looking for men who can pay the bills. You looking for men who can, who can pin your legs back real good. 
who can hit you from the side good? Who can, you, can, I, can I go there for a moment? You looking for some men? Come on, somebody. Who can lay the pipe right? Can you pray, baby? Can you, can you, can you pray us all up, up out of the pit? Can you hold my hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus? Y'all better, listen, y'all fellas, looking for, for sis with the little waist and the big booty. You, you, you looking for sis. Come on, somebody who driving the nicest car. You looking for sis with the 30 inch lace front. Come on. You don't know nothing about sis, but that she look good on the outside. Don't even know her house filthy on the inside. Come on. She know how to help you roll, roll your joints and ride with you to bust licks, but sis don't know how to pray. Sis don't know how to bind up that, that, that abandonment spirit because your daddy was never in your life. You gotta hear what I'm saying to you. We are looking for the wrong things in this season. And God said the stronghold is being released, but who you connected to, Rakobo, Sotobashiande, it makes the difference. Somebody ought to comment below, baby, and make a difference here. It make a difference. I don't know about you, but I, I need to be connected to some people who gonna tell me keep on keeping on. I don't know about you, but I need to be connected to some people who gonna say you tripping you ain't been yourself lately y'all get around people who got nothing but good to say about you telling you look you look good and you doing good i don't need people like that in my corner tell me when i ain't myself tell me when i'm tripping tell me when i'm going back to the thing i leveled up from you need some people watch this in your life come on somebody who gonna put you in your place you don't need people who going to just clap all the time? Nah, put me in my place. Tell me when I need to get back on my knees before God. Put me in my place. Tell me when I'm losing my identity. Because you can be in situations and circumstances sometimes to where you don't even realize you've changed. Ooh. Baby, you don't even realize you've changed. Some of you are battling witches and warlocks and battling demonic forces and battling voodoo and white magic and black magic and things like that. And watch this. You think that the witch is coming on a broom and that ain't even the case. Since we are in a season where witches ain't flying in on a broom anymore, they living with you. Bro, we are in a season where snakes ain't running around uh, and anymore. They calling your phone like they love you. You better open your eyes. You better ask God to remove the scales from your eyes so you can spiritually see who am I speaking to. You, you, you better get to that place to where you say, I need the strongholds broken off my life because my children depend on it. I, I need the strongholds broken off my life, baby, because my grandchild depend on it. I need the strongholds broken off my life, because my health depend on it. My finances depend on it. God said to you. The one that's watching this video, the stronghold, it has been released. But watch this. In order for it to stay released, God said, I've opened the door for you. But in order for it to not continuously slam in your face, the minute you get to that door to watch this, to walk through it, a lot of you, God has paved the way he's opened the doors for you. But watch this. You're the reason they're slamming shut in your face. Your mouth. Shut up. Close it. Shut up. Close it. Come on. I want you to come in that thing below, baby. Shut up and close it. Shut up and close it. Just because they carry your last name don't mean they there for you. Just because y'all worship and praise God in church together, baby, don't mean they there for you. Just because y'all work on the same job don't mean they there, they there, they're there for you. Just because you loaning them your lace wig. Can I talk about that? Some of us, we have friends and we like, baby, you, you my sister. And you know that you love them so much. You, you will loan them a lace wig from time to time. Can I keep it real with you? See, I, 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 some of you, it might be your first time meeting me, but I'm Dr. Shakira McFadden, baby, hood raised. You heard what I'm saying? I, I, I'm a Jesus junkie. I, I, I fell in love with God. You understand? By accident. Could I keep it real with some people who fell in love by, but with, with God by accident? I ain't know nothing about him, baby, till I got behind uh, bars and was laying on a, a, a steel bed. Come on, somebody, and eating cold sandwiches and didn't have nobody to do nothing for me. I found him in a, 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 a God place. I stumbled up on him. You heard me? Because when I was out there, I was living my best life. Had women for days. 
slept with whatever woman I wanted to and bought a home to my man. Had plenty of money, so money don't excite me. Been popular when I was in the world. Strip club, what, 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 what church on a Sunday? Baby, it's a Sunday night, I'm going to the strip club. Come on, somebody. Got high morning, noon, and night. Got drunk morning, noon, and night. I'm telling you what I've been through. At some point, people of God, you have to begin to say who I'm connected to in this season. It makes a difference. Why? Because I'm trying to release strongholds. I'm trying to release strongholds. Right now, I decree and declare that anyone's money that's in pending position, that anything you apply for and you have been waiting on to respond, baby, the stronghold, I decree and declare that the delay, it has been released. Somebody's about to get approved. You ought to comment below, approved, approved, approved. If you waiting on something, baby, approved, 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 approved. You got to put that thing out there. Don't worry about who coming in and who not coming in, baby. Approved, approved, approved. I decree and declare that that woman who's been praying over and over with everything in them for that man that delay come on and his spirit is about to be lifted up that stronghold is being removed somebody got to comment below God mend it mend it mend it if you praying for a husband a boyfriend a baby daddy a fiance you ought to comment below God mend it mend it fix that thing because we are still in a season where God has time to do it he told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video that before I fly to New Orleans <laughs> today, tonight, he said to come and tell you that the stronghold, it has been released. You're about to, to walk into that season you've been waiting for. You, 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 you've had too many restless nights. You've cried too many tears. You've tossed and turned. You, this thing is so bad. You're even dreaming about it. Come, oh, Jesus. Can I talk to some people that can relate? What you going through has been so serious. You 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 still get around your your friends and smile and you still act like everything is okay and you still go into church and say you bless and highly favor you still walk on your job and do your job with a smile but that thing is two seconds from breaking you that stronghold is about to take you out so much that it's interrupting your sleeping when you finally fall asleep you dream about it. He said to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, that the stronghold, it, it's being released. Some of you people of God, you're still stuck in the curses from your mother and your father. You a good person with a good heart and you, you wonder why bad is still happening to you. It's the strongholds, people of God, and the generational curses. Come on, somebody, of your mother and your father. I decree and declare that it's broken. It's being released. As of tonight, somebody ought to comment below. The curse is broke. The, the curse is broke. The curse is broke. Then you didn't even know I got a curse in my bloodline. But the thing is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I just wanted to come and encourage you tonight. I want to tell you, don't give up. I want to tell you, your help is on the way. I want to tell you that your tears, come on, somebody, are about to manifest. I, I want to tell you to keep on pushing and keep on believing. I want to tell you that everything is going to be okay. I want to tell you to smile a little bit more because it's already getting better. Some of you walk around just with an angry face. Your face just stuck there. Smile, sis. It's getting better. Smile, bro. Everything going to be okay. The stronghold is being released. But you better shut up and pray. You better shut up and pray. Not everybody who say they for you. You better hear what I'm saying. It's for you. Not everybody who clapping, clapping because you winning. Some of them are clapping because they still clapping. Watch this. From the time you fail that. Woo, Jesus. I heard that in the spiritual realm. Let me back that up. Because this is confirmation for you. The one that's watching this video, you ought to comment below. This is confirmation. If, I'm, if, if this was for you, here's the confirmation you've been praying for. Shut up and pray. Some of you, you think that people are clapping who's connected to you when you're winning. But what they're really doing is still clapping. It happened from the last time you failed. Oh, Jesus. 
Witches are not riding around on broomsticks anymore with pointy hats. No. They carry your last name. They the people you open your house to. They the people you worship with in church. They the, they the people who, who, who you got saved in your phone as bestie. You better, oh God. They the people you watch this allowing to put on a condom and slide up between your legs. Could I bless somebody for a moment? Because sometimes we don't even know we sleeping with the enemy because we so in love. Who am I speaking to? You don't even realize you sleeping with the enemy because you in love with how he make love to you. You you in love with just having somebody to hold you at night. You, you in love with the very thought that he's using your house key, sis. Witches look a little bit different in this season. Shut up and pray. So God can reveal people's motives. Somebody ought to comment below. God show me. You better be careful before you type God show me in capital letters. Because sometimes what you pray. That's why they say be careful what you pray for. What you ask for he will. I dare you to comment below. God show me. And I bet he show up. Shut up and pray. The stronghold is being released. The very thing that has kept you bound is being broken. The very thing that has kept you bound is currently being broken off your life, off your children. Do you know, I just heard this in the spiritual realm, people of God, very quickly, do you know that there can be a spirit of death over your family? Let me bless somebody. Uncle just died. Mama just died. Niece just died. This person just died. This person just died. You scared to go out the door. That's a spirit. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, you will not be the next on a t-shirt. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, you shall live and not die. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, that death spirit, come on somebody, has to flee from your generation in the name of Jesus. That stronghold, it's being released. It's not by coincidence, people of God, that you are on here tonight. Y'all know I haven't been going live because I'm not going live unless God tell me to. I have people messaging me, please, I need a word. When are you coming back on? Because I'm the only church that some people will see. But I move according to his will. So it's not by coincidence that you are on here right now. Not by coincidence. Today's message, tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, is the stronghold is being released. I'm talking to all of you who are on here tonight. Baby, it's, it's being released. It got to come up off of you. I, baby, I don't, you, somebody ought to come in below. I don't know about you, but it got to come up off of me. It got to come up off of me. There's some things that I've been needing God to do. That thing got to turn me loose as of tonight. It got to, it got to set me free. As of tonight, it gotta let me go. As of tonight, some of y'all need to be opening your front door right now, telling the devil to get out, telling the devil to get. I'm telling you, when I get to that place where I get sick and tired, I go talk to myself. You might bump into me in the grocery store and you get me talking to myself. It's okay if you think I'm crazy. Sometimes my husband be thinking I'm crazy. No, baby, I'm I'm encouraging myself to get back up again. I'm I'm telling myself your next move is about to be your best move. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but let me speak that over your life too. Baby, your next move. Your next move is about to be your best move. Your next move is about to be your your, your best move. What God is about to do for you next, they ain't even see it coming. That's the that's the best, baby. That's the that's the best home run. When they don't even see it coming. Your next move, sis, is about to be your best move. Your next move, bruh. What's up? It's about to be your next move. People, oh, they, they think you're gonna be a nobody the rest of your life. Cause your daddy was a nobody. They think you're going to be on the block all your life. They, they, they think y'all going to get high all your life. Nah. God about to do something in you and through you. 
So that stronghold, it got to be released. I guess somebody who's who's been battling with drug use, maybe you using it to numb the pain or maybe you using it for a high or maybe you using it to still cover up what mama or daddy allowed to happen to you or do to you when you was a child. I just dare you to comment below and say I'm free from it. I'm just talking to some people who, who smoke a little weed every now and then to numb the pain. I'm talking to some people who pop a few pills, Percocets or, 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 or Xanax or, or, or ecstasy pills or seek. I'm talking to a people who use a little molly and flock every now and then to cover the pain. I'm talking to some people who pick up the Hennessy and Patron bottle from time to time to cover the pain. I'm talking to some people who picking up the beer to cover the pain. Baby, I'm talking to some people. Who pick up the pound cake when they depressed. I'm talking to some people who go shop to, to, to numb the pain. I decree and declare tonight, I'm free from it. Come on, you can't worry about nobody who won't hear, who going to be talking about. It. You ought to say I'm set free. The stronghold, it has been released. The stronghold, it has been released, people of God. Oh, Jesus. It's people calling in right now. I don't want nobody calling. The stronghold has been released. Listen, people of God, I got, I got a flight to catch. But it would be robbery for me to jump off without giving you the opportunity to sow. I said earlier today, we, we, we tagged seven people that the number is seven on tonight when I'm preaching something serious. Y'all know my confirmation number is 27. The information is pinned to the bottom to sew. The phone number is for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, and PayPal. Listen to me. I, 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 I want you to pray about sewing, people of God. Do you get what I'm saying? If you know this message is for you, I want you to go and sow a $27 seed or a $127 seed very quickly. The number is pinned to the bottom. All you got to do is copy and paste. The number is pinned to the bottom, people of God. And I'm going to say it again. Do not sow unless God is leading you to sow. We are in a season where we can't play with the devil no more. We are in a season, people of God, where, come on, somebody. It, sometimes you got to sow your way up out of it. Some of you, you say God didn't tell you to sow. And guess what? I'm okay with that. Because when you put a seed in the ground, I need you to believe that seed and believe in who you sowing that seed to. Very quickly. It's a lot of people sowing right now. I'm seeing it to the top of the screen. Some of you are going to sow $27. Watch this. Some of you going to go sow $75.27. Because you sowing for you, little Shanika and little Timmy. You sowing for you and your children. You sowing for you and your marriage. You sowing for you and your relationship. You sowing for you and your health. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in you and through you. We got to move to the beat of God. We have to move to the beat of God. Cash app, chime and zell. It's 754-246-0580. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two ends at AOL.com. The seed amount tonight. It's $27 or $127. I believe that it is complete. I believe that tonight, that very thing that has been holding you, it has to be broken. I don't care what witch, what warlock, what messy friend, what messy family member went to the root lady. You can tell them they can cut a chicken tongue and do whatever else they want with it. It's being released as of tonight. Sometimes people have got, you better get what I'm saying. That thing is being released as of tonight. It's, it's being broken off of your bloodline. So you, 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 you gotta be led to give in this season. You gotta be led to give in this season. It's not by coincidence that you on here, baby. You on here because there was a word for you. You on here, people of God. Come on, somebody. Yes. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two ends at AOL.com. That's why some of y'all stuck. Some of y'all, you ain't got it to give. God know your heart. You hit share and you tag seven people. That was your seed. Some of, good, some of you, you ain't got it. I decree and declare the next time you'll have it, the overflow is hitting the home of every cash app, every chime, every zell, every PayPal that's coming right now. The overflow is happening for everybody who's sowing out of their heart. Because sometimes you just don't have it. This is why I always tell people to pray before they give. But people of God, let me tell you something. 
Let me tell you something. The wind of God is moving and we are in a season where we need to shut up and pray. Some of you have already released from your, your big old mouth what your next move was. And that's why the devil has came up against it. But God told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video, baby, the stronghold being released. It's being released. And listen, people of God, some of you watch this. Uh, 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 your family, you want to share my videos with your family and they don't have social media. Go on YouTube. Type in Shakira McFadden. Go on YouTube and type in Shakira McFadden testimony video. Stop following people if you don't know their story. Yeah, I said it. I don't have half a million followers for a reason. God gave me that platform because of my transparency. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. Follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. God is doing something amazing in this season. In this season. People of God, let me tell you something. I want to bless you with this. The stronghold. It has been released. The stronghold. Got to get up off of you. I remember one time I was so high. I don't even remember what I was smoking because I done tried so many different drugs. Could I be real with somebody? Uh, if this is your just your first time on here, you might be saying, what kind of minister is this? Telling all her business and talk about don't, a real one. One that don't judge people because I know I've been through hell and I'm still a mess. A real one. But anyways, one time I was so high. I don't remember what I was smoking. Or I, I don't even remember, baby, because there have been times I was up for two, three nights. You get what I'm saying? Baby, I ain't want to miss no money, and I need to stay up. So I used to get high regularly, but that was that was, that was was this one time I was just getting high, getting high to my mind like crazy. I'm hallucinating. I didn't even, like, really, I looked in the mirror and even couldn't even identify myself and who I was. But people didn't even know I was I was turning to that drug still or I was getting high like that because I still couldn't like get over the fact that my brother took my virginity. I was I was getting high like that because I still couldn't get over the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was there to stop him and get him from up off of me when I was a child. I I, I couldn't get over the fact that, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I went through a lot of things I went through in my life. Like being molested by my auntie. Sis taught me how to put on perfume and wear my hair all cute. She taught me how to wear my lip gloss popping. She taught me how to, you know, wear my shirt. My, I mean, my skirt pulled up just enough so people could see my wide hips and legs. How to get the cutest guys. But since I, I, I didn't know that, that that same auntie, you know what I'm saying, was, was, was going to open my legs and go down on me. Man, listen. There, there's, there's a, that's another story, people of God. Let me tell you something. If you have not went on Amazon and got this book, I never knew my yes would cause me so much pain. All you got to do is go on Amazon and talk, talk, type in Shakira McFadden. If you have not bought this book off Amazon, I never knew my yes would cause me so much pain. Baby, you don't know what you're missing. A rip. Off rip is some heavy hitter stuff. Off rip. You see how transparent I am, so you already know. I ain't sugarcoating nothing. Send it in the prisons. Send it in the jails. Give it to your teenage children who are out of control. I'm telling you, when you open this book, you will not want to put it down. Go ahead and screenshot. I never swipe all the comments to the right so you can get a good look at this book. I never knew my yes would cause me so much pain. You might be wondering why in this picture I'm all beat up and a bruise and the man you see in this picture is my husband. I got him all beat up and abused and things like that in, in the book and everything like that too. He played my, my, my rapist, my molester in this book. He played, he played the man who was whooping my behind left and right. Because watch this, sometimes you don't even know when you get into relationships with people and you marry people, you marry their soul ties too. So although he wasn't my brother who took my virginity or my auntie who, who molested me, although he wasn't, you know, my baby daddy who was whooping my behind left and right, although he wasn't that person, he still had to be a part of it. Because he had to love me through my flaws. He had to love me back to life. Man, listen. Go on Amazon and get this book. I never knew my yes would cause me so... Baby, hold on. I might just read y'all a piece. I ain't finna play with y'all. I gotta get to the airport. Hold on.
Hold on, because I, I, I think y'all, let, let, let me, just, just hold on a minute. Just hold on a minute. Baby, hold on a minute. Let me, let me, let me give you one of these stories. Baby, listen, oh Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. And, and listen, the, the, and, and it's so, oh God, it's, it's so, it's so wrong. And it, it's the way I talk. There's a, there's a part in my book that talked about when my husband, you know, I have a, I have a bonus child when he made a child on me. And you know, he started dating another woman. And even though I was singing in the choir and in church and holding my hands up to God, who I had got me somebody who can please me too. And it talked about how my pastor had called me in the office that day and was asking me how things was going with me and my husband. I was like, baby, we ain't together. He got him somebody. And I said to my pastor, I got me somebody too. And he said to me, watch this. And I'm telling you, I'm talking just like this in the book, but I'm using some words. You might be shocked because I, I got to break this thing down so somebody can be delivered. And my pastor told me, no, you got to go home and break it off with the other man. I said, wait a minute. So you want me to be out here moping and crying while he riding past my house and her car and living his best life. Baby, I left my my pastor's office and I talked about how I, when I got home I walked into my house where the other man was who I had to you know started developing feelings for because he was helping me get over my husband and how I heard my pastor's uh, uh, a voice in my ear telling me don't do it because it can send me to hell but his body was calling me a little bit more and I made love to him and then I told Jesus you know what now we're even because I was angry, I was upset, I was hurt that I was a praying wife with an adulterer for a husband. So sis, I wanted to be like sis too. You got my man bouncing between your legs. My man got your legs pinned back by pinned back like Lamborghini does. I wanted mine pinned back too. So I was blocking out what the pastor said. Sure did. Baby, y'all better get this book. Y'all better get this book. Y'all better get this book. I never knew my yes would cause me so much pain. Get it off Amazon. Type in Shakira McFadden, sis. That book will come right up. Listen, I got to go. I will be in New Orleans as of tonight all the way until Wednesday. So if my followers down there, baby, in New Orleans, I, I, I think my hotel is exactly on Bourbon Street. Y'all see me out there? Come and hug me. Come up to me. Me and my husband, come come up to me. Okay? I love y'all. God bless y'all. Follow me on TikTok, Evangelist Shakira. Follow me on YouTube. Y'all got to go on YouTube and type in Shakira McFadden testimony video. It's definitely going to bless you. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, Evangelist.Shakira. I only got one Instagram. The information is to the bottom on how to sow. Listen, people of God, Cash App, Chime, and Zelle. You have to fully put the phone number in, the complete phone number, 754-246-0580, because people got made fake cash apps. Put the number in. Copy and paste it. And PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two N's at AOL.com. I love y'all. I gotta go. The stronghold is being released. Take care.